Hey everybody, it's Wacky Wednesday again. Now today we're making a sweet treat that is basically, um, you can do everything except maybe you might need your adult assistant put it, to put it in the oven, but otherwise you can do all of this yourself and it is delicious. So here are our ingredients. We're actually going to be making what I like to call petite cheesecakes. So we need some cream cheese, we need egg, we need some sugar, which we have in here. We need some vanilla wafers. We need some vanilla. Just a little bit of lemon. And then in a little while, we'll use some pie filling. But right now, we need to get everything mixed up. So, oh, you'll notice I still don't have counters. That's coming. So we're improvising today. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and um, I've got our cream cheese softened. Now, I did that. I just put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. And you can see it's nice and soft. So we're going to dump that into our mixer, our mixing bowl, just right in there. And to that, we're going to add our sugar. And again, the measurements are on your screen. Just dump it right in there. Now you can also mix this by hand if you don't have a stand mixer. But because I do have a stand mixer, I'm going to use this. Back on there. Okay. And now I need one of our viewers. I could really use his help if he was here because he's awesome at cracking eggs. But since he's not, I'm going to just crack this egg and hope I don't get any eggshells. Haha, <laughs> no eggshells. Awesome. And then we need our vanilla. And we're going to put just a few sprigs of lemon. Now, if you really like lemon, like I really like lemon, I would put a lot. Um, but Tee Tee is not as big a fan of a lemon. The right measuring spoon here for our vanilla. He's not as big of a fan of lemon, so I'll just put a little bit in, just enough for some flavor. So just a couple of squirts. In it goes. And now we're going to mix everything up. And while this is mixing, if you have a stand mixer, you can do this. Or if you don't have a stand mixer and you have um, one of your siblings is mixing that, the other one can be filling up our muffin tin. Now you need a muffin pan. You need to take some paper muffin cups and go ahead and fill your muffin pan with those. And then what we're going to do is take our cookies, and these are going to be our crust. We're going to take one cookie and put it in the bottom of each paper. Now they will expand a little bit. Whoops, we got a couple in there. They will expand a little bit as you bake them. So this will be plenty of crust. I promise. And this is a great recipe because making um, one big cheesecake, I know that some of your moms are really good at that. But I've never really had much luck, so this is a great way to have the delicious flavor of cheesecake in a really easy form. And this is a lot faster than making a real big cheesecake. So, let's see. This looks pretty good. We're going to let it go for maybe about 30 more seconds. So, in 30 seconds, we'll come back and check it because we've got, already got our uh, muffin tin filled, so we can just kind of chill out for about 30 seconds. Alright, so our cheesecake mixture is all mixed up and ready to be taken out of our bowl and put on top of our wafers. So I'm going to take this here. We don't want to make a huge mess. So I'm going to put this right into the bowl because it's kind of drippy. Okay, so you can see that our mixture is nice and creamy. Oh, it smells delicious. It's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to just take a little bit, a little scoop, a little measuring scoop works really well, and you're just going to pour it right on top of your cookie. And you don't need to fill the whole muffin tin up because that would be a lot of cheesecake. So we're going to just fill up just enough to cover it. It'll be about halfway up the muffin cup is about right. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these up, and then I'm going to pop them in the oven. Our oven is preheated at 350 degrees, so it's all ready to go. You didn't hear the beat, but it is ready. 
Now remember, on my oven, it looks like it says 325, and it does, but that's because I'm using the convection setting. So if you have a convection setting at your house, on your oven, yours will also say 325, but it really means 350. So ooh, we'll have just enough, it looks like. And then we're going to bake these for about 15 minutes. You'll have to check it at 15 minutes. Might need to go a little bit longer. And what you do is just put a toothpick inside, and you don't want it to be as runny as it is now. You want it to be a little bit firmer, but you don't want it to be hard. So that's what you're looking for. And it usually takes about 15 minutes. So that looks good to me. So in the oven we go. Timer set, 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes it takes to bake, I'm going to clean up this mess and get ready for step two. So our petite cheesecakes are finished. In all, it took about 17 minutes for them in the oven to cook. So I've been letting them sit here for about 10 minutes on the counter. You need to do that to let them cool down just a little bit and firm up because um, while you want, when you put your toothpick in, you don't want it to be goopy. You don't want it to be totally hard either. So you need to let it chill a little bit after you take it out of the oven. So the next thing we're going to do is put on our topping. Now I'm using cherry today. You can use any kind of pie filling you want. TT prefers cherry pie, so that's what we're doing is cherry pie filling. So you just open the can. I told you this is an easy recipe. We're not even making the pie filling. So you just open the can, and then we'll just take a spoon and spoon just a little bit on top. Now some of you who maybe don't like pie filling or like cherry or whatever, um, you don't have to put pie filling in at all. You could just put whipped cream. It's delicious that way too. Or chocolate chips. You could use mini chocolate chips and sprinkle. That would be delicious. So, we're going to just take a spoon and just dollop some right in the middle and make our own little petite cheesecakes. These are delicious. They are simple. Now I like to serve them. Some people like cheesecake fresh out of the oven when it's still a little bit warm. I don't really like it that way. I like it to be nice and cold. So what I'm going to do is put these in the fridge for a little bit and let it get nice and chilled. See how perfectly that fits in there? You get about three cherries and some cherry sauce in every little cheesecake and that is just about enough. Now I know some of you who like cheesecake at a particular restaurant that has cheesecake in its name like something called red velvet cheesecake and I have also known of one of our viewers to offer to share a piece of red velvet cheesecake with me and then eat almost the entire thing. This recipe is an instance that you can really eat an entire cheesecake which is just one of these by yourself. It's a three or four bites and it's delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and finish topping these. I'm going to pop them in the fridge for probably about 30 minutes and then we're going to come back and see what Taste Tester thinks of our petite cheesecakes. Delicious! Oh, and today is extra special because we have a Wacky Wednesday double feature. After Taste Tester does his taste testing in our petite cheesecakes, we have our guest chef from last week has another fabulous recipe for us that he invented and wanted to share with all of you. So he made a video of himself making that wonderful recipe. So that's coming up right after Taste Testing. She's a magician in the kitchen. Watch on Mondays and Thursdays. Cooking yummy foods and tasty treats. Come on, boys, and taste the fun sleep. Hi, Liz. This is how I First, we put the meat on. Then we put the cheese on. Now we put the hot dog on. Now we roll it. Yeah. Eat, eat, eat. Uh. Tell Aunt Liz what that is. It's your turkey and cheese hot dog. Turkey and cheese. And this is 
I'm talking she's in hot dog. I love you.